My name is Leandro Al Santos, and this is PET 3D printing, a machine that I have designed, manufactured, and assembled myself. This is for my Mechatronics or ME305 final project. And basically, uh, I convert PET plastic bottles into 3D printing filament. Uh, I care for the environment. The only reason for my career in mechanical engineering is to combine advancement in technology with sustainability. I love the topics of efficiency, energy, sustainability, and recycling. So today I'm very excited to present my project. Uh, there are so many things I have learned and I'm so glad about the results I found with this project. Um, so let me change the camera, let me show you guys how the project works, and then I will be explaining a little bit more about the components and the things I have learned through this semester here at BYU Idaho. All right, for the sake of optimizing the speed of this process, I have set the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius and my thermocouple is already reading this temperature, so the, the hot end is actually hot enough. You can see the fan is spinning, the wheel is also very slowly spinning, but the motor right behind it is spinning a little bit faster. The double system of pulleys is responsible to reducing the speed of the process, but also increasing the torque of it. We saw some electronic components, the display again with the setting reading temperatures. I decided to cut the plastic bottles before I actually started the process, also just to make this process a little bit faster. But you can see the filaments coming out of the hot nozzle very clear, very consistently that's perfect for what I want. As you can see, it is composed of three actuators, the NEMA 17, a 12 volt DC fan and a hot end, two controllers, the IR remote control to control the temperature of the hot end and a potentiometer to control the speed of the stepper motor, a sensor that's a thermocouple plus a MAC 6675 modules. Uh, the feedback control loop is a PID control that is also set to control the temperature of the, the hot end and the display and controllers will be uh, tested right now. For my controller number one, I have a recycled bottle cap <laughs> that not only is there for the looks of my project, but it also serves to increase and decrease the speed of my stepper motor. Is a nut so I can freely spin that on and off and that's responsible again to increase and decrease the speeds of my device. Controller number two, it is responsible for the temperature. Right there, I have an IR sensor, and that sensor is responsible to change the set temperature in the display so I can actually control the temperatures that I'm using. Here in my hand, I have the controller, and with this controller, I can change the set temperature to 60, 100, 180, 190. Let's talk a little bit about the components of my project. I just want to conclude saying that I had the greatest time this semester learning and applying some of the principles of mechatronics. Thank you very much for enjoying and supporting my project, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.